South Africa's Green Paper on Migration calls for a number of new proposals that are meant to streamline existing policies and clamp down on economic migrants. But some believe the proposals in its current form will prejudice their rights, and among them are refugees and asylum seekers, who remain some of the most vulnerable to the policies. Amongst one of the most contested proposals are detention camps along the country's border, which some believe are a contradiction to the non-encampment policy that the government has adopted. One of the major concerns, again, is the detention. We're still not sure whether these uh, processing centers will also be detention centers. Because remember in South Africa, we got a very uh, supreme constitution. We put the right of freedom of movement, right to privacy, rights like uh, dignity, human dignity. We think that those rights, if you look at them, those rights need to be balanced with whatever the government policy is trying to accomplish. Somali migrants have some of the most established communities in South Africa, who have embraced the commercial sector and in turn created employment. They are also vulnerable too to any major policy shift the Green Paper proposes. There are so many things that we are concerned about, uh, including the issue of dependence. Like when we talk about families, who's going to be dependent, who's going to be in your file, who's going to be under, uh, under your file, your asylum seeker or refugee. Uh, the issues of uh, asylum seekers not allowed to work. The Somali Association of South Africa is, however, optimistic that the country's track record in dealing with these issues could play in their favor. We believe the government is refugee and asylum seeker friendly and welcoming before and we hope after the green paper turns to white paper still government will look into the into the well-being of refugees and asylum seekers so we, we are hopeful but we are worried if the green paper is passed the way it is the somali community has been joined by other ngos and stakeholders to enhance civic understanding and engagement about migration in south africa and what it means to everyone concerned there could be a number of changes before anybody has an idea of what the final migration policy might be. But more importantly, there has to pass constitutional muster to be approved. Representative CCTV, Cape Town.